Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca, and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with five key stats from that Real Sociedad win yesterday. Of course, after a hard fought victory, we are going to be discussing on five important stats from the game. Then, secondly, talking about the match winner, Ronald Araujo. Of course, who was the hero of yesterday, He's, we are going to discuss on what he said after that game. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. After a loss to Real Madrid at the end of last month, Barcelona returned to winning ways by securing a 1-0 victory over Real Sociedad. It was a crucial win for the Catalans, who remain on the heels of Real Madrid and Girona in the race for the league title. The Catalans are now just a point behind Real Madrid and four behind Girona, although it must be mentioned that Los Blancos do have a game in hand. Of course, the match's defining moment came when Ronald Araujo scored a well-timed header at the 92nd minute mark, making it the latest winning goal for Barcelona in La Liga since October 2022 when Robert Lewandowski netted at 92nd, 55 second, 90 second minute, 55 second against Valencia. Although Araujo is regarded as one of the Barca's key defenders, he is also a contributor in attack. His goal against Real Sociedad marked his 7th in La Liga, emphasizing his value in crucial moments. On this occasion, the late goal from Araujo made sure that Barcelona secured yet another 1-0 victory. Under Chalvi's guidance, Barcelona has excelled at securing 1-0 victories. The win against Real Sociedad marked their 10th such win, solidifying their reputation for grinding out close matches. In fact, Barcelona's last three league wins, including the one against Real Sociedad, have all ended with a 1-0 scoreline. In light of Barcelona's win, it must be mentioned that historically, Barca struggled at the Anueta Stadium when facing Real Sociedad. However, it seems there has been a significant transformation in recent years. So from 2011 to 2016, Barcelona managed just two points out of a possible 21. In contrast, from 2017 to 2021, they earned an impressive 19 out of 21 at this venue of course which means Barca have turned their fortunes around whenever they visit Real Sociedad it is no more uh, a stadium where we go there and we know that definitely we are going to lose points because Barca have been suffering against Sociedad for quite a while but in recent years we have rec re realized that the team of course we don't face so much difficulties when going there and yesterday after playing so poorly we still got that main at the 92nd minute, courtesy of Rona Araujo. And of course, what a great win it was because we have every right to be disappointed with our performance. You know, uh, as I said earlier, Javi was self-critical about the performance, which he needs to. And of course, if we actually want to go out there to defend our La Liga title, we can't continue playing that way. We understand that there have been injuries lately, so much for Barcelona, but of course, yesterday's performance was not acceptable. It, it doesn't look like a team that wants to compete for any of the trophies they are contending this season. And of course, we can't even go out there to play a Champions League, for instance, in that way, because there was no intensity whatsoever. We saw it from the get-go, Real Sociedad were the one dominating the game. And in fact, for the first 85 minutes, Barcelona were out of form. We were not doing anything nothing and of course it's a cause of concern that the manager and his staff needs to take it damn seriously need to take it so seriously uh, yeah. so talking about the five stats that's just them um 
we just hope that we keep improving. Pedri returned yesterday, played some few minutes in the second period. Uh, we hope that those players stay fit because it's really frustrating to see when our key players are inconsistent in their appearances. And of course, it has so much impact and so much effect in the team. We hope that they can stay. Frankie de Young is still not available. Um, as rumors were saying, he might play yesterday, but he did not make it. But at the end of November, we should be expecting Frankie de Young, who has also been a, a so much important and vital figure in that midfield setup. So let's just hope that those are key players are coming back stronger and better. Of course, we saw some of them like Lewandowski, who returned against Real Madrid last week. But he's still not 100% fit from the way he's playing. Some have been criticizing him that he did not play well. But Xavi came out and defend him, as you would expect saying that Lewandowski is still trying to recover to his full fitness. Then on to the final story of discussion. Minute 92 at the Real Arena, scores tied at Nuneo. A draw here could mean Barca six points astray from Real Madrid by tomorrow night. A horrendous performance from Barcelona seemed all but capped off when Gundogan threw a Hail Mary pass into the box as Araujo sprinted from behind Sociedad's defense, flung his head at it and fell to the floor as the ball trickled into the net. Offside is called. The Uruguayan has his face in his hands. However, a double check confirms that he is indeed onside and the goal is given. A Barcelona hero once again, this time on the other side of the pitch. These are three very important points. After losing El Clasico, we knew the difficulty of this match, Araujo said after the win. Barcelona's underwhelming display was visible to all and the 23-year-old had the best seats in the house for it. He quickly admitted that the team were rather poor in the first half and only minutely picked up in the second. We didn't play well in the first half, but we did better in the second half. Real Sociedad played a very great match overall. They are a good team. Sometimes, there are matches that you have to win by any means. That was the case today, Araujo said. Barcelona only strung together a decent possession of passes after the 80th minute, after which they created a fair few chances, including a 1v1 for Gavi, who hit it straight to Alex Remiro. A draw could have been the fair result. Real Sociedad played very well, Araujo said. He only mentioned the winning goal at the end of the interview. He said, I'm happy for scoring my first goal of the season, but the most important part is helping the team win such a difficult match. Great words from Araujo, who was the hero yesterday. And of course, I mean, it was such a crazy ending to the game. And Barcelona fans go went crazy. And it is what it is. Um, very important win, especially after losing to our arch rivals Real Madrid last weekend. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.